Welcome, family, to another edition of Stranger Thinking Media, where we bring you the gospel of Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, to address the problems of the modern world. So, stay tuned. We have an awesome show for you today. Hi, my name is Rachel Israel with breaking news presented by Estiman News. BRICS expansion looks to be the next step in an economic war against the West and seemingly takes us a step closer to World War III. Today we will discuss the BRICS decision to extend formal invitations to six new members and the consequences for the US and the dollar. The BRICS bloc has launched its biggest expansion in its history, inviting six more countries to join the emerging market alliance. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have formally invited Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, the United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia to join the group at the recent summit in Johannesburg, South Africa. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa said that membership will take effect from the 1st of January, 2024. We have decided to invite the Argentine Republic the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates to become full members of BRICS. The membership will take effect from the 1st of January 2024. South Africa's President Ramaphosa also said that now that consensus has been reached on the first phase of this expansion process, further phases will follow to include even more countries. China's President Xi Jinping called the bloc's expansion historic, saying that they will continue to unite and cooperate with developing countries. And Russia's President Vladimir Putin welcomed the new members via video link and called on the bloc to deepen its economic ties, including creating a common currency. And leading up to the summit, there was much speculation that the agenda would include discussion about a new reserve bloc currency, potentially backed by commodities. And while that was put on the back burner at this meeting, it was announced that next year's summit will focus on that initiative. Russia will be hosting next year's summit and has been one of the biggest proponents of the bloc currency, to potentially rival the dollar. And moving away from the dollar and using the BRICS own currencies continued to be a very big theme of this summit. The BRICS group of big emerging economies has announced the admission of six new members with the intent to reshape the global world order and provide a counterweight to the US and its allies. Starting next year in 2024, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Argentina, the UAE and Ethiopia will join the current five members, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. It was announced at a summit in Johannesburg this past year. We have noted that there is global momentum for the use of local currencies, alternative financial arrangements, and alternative payment systems. As BRICS, we are ready to explore opportunities for improving the stability, reliability, and fairness of the global financial architecture. In this regard, BRICS leaders have tasked their finance ministers and central bank governors as appropriate to consider the issue of local currencies payment instruments and platforms and to report back to the BRICS leaders by the next summit. The president of China described the expansion as historic. He had been the leading proponent of the admission of new members in order to enlarge BRICS as a way for the global south to have a stronger voice in world affairs. So what do these developments mean for the dollar, for the current monetary system, and for gold? Let's discuss with one of the first people to flag this trend at large. Villa Middlecorp is the founder of the Commodity Discovery Fund. He is the author of several best-selling books, including The Big Reset, which has been translated into several languages, including Arab and Chinese, 
and the upcoming book, The Bricks Reset. Willem, very good to have you back with us. Well, thanks for the invitation. Good to see you again. All right, much to discuss. Obviously, the big news here, Willem, Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates invited to join the BRICS. But before we get into the significance at large here, I did notice that all of these countries, except for Saudi Arabia, fully accepted the invitation. We did seem to get a more nuanced response from the Saudis with a foreign minister there, Prince Faisal bin Farhan, telling Saudi television that the kingdom was awaiting the details on the nature of the membership and its components. And based on that and our internal procedures, we will take the appropriate decision. So it was kind of interesting to me that we got a more nuanced answer from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What do you make of that? Does this mean that well, the Saudis may not join? No, I'm, I'm not that surprised by that response because, as you know, uh, the Saudis have uh, this, well, the petrodollar deal since 1974 um, when the U.S. needed to find support for the U.S. dollar after they took the dollar of the gold standard a few years earlier in 1971. And, and this um, petrodollar deal with the Saudis uh, was so important. It's so important for the U.S. So the Saudis, they know they have to play both sides. They still want to keep um, stay um, to keep the U.S. as a friend, so they have to play that they are still not sure. But um, the, the Saudi Arabia wouldn't have been mentioned uh, in, in this in this statement coming from South Africa when the Saudis uh, wouldn't have uh, um, agreed that 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 they would have been named. So it, it's it's a sign. There are some very serious. Um, there have been some very serious talks uh, between the BRICS alliance and the Saudis. And, and, and never forget that a few years ago um, we've seen the the Saudi leader making a high five with Putin during a G20 conference. So this this friendship this has been a few years in the making. Well, that's the news for tonight. Thank you so much for continually supporting our content. If you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and share this with your friends and family. I'm sure they would find it interesting as well. We're very excited to continue this journey with you. We thank you all for bringing certain stories to our attention, and for continually keeping us updated with certain events around the world. 